Collective Wardrobe. My name is Isabel and today I am doing a super exciting video. I'm going to be giving you guys some outfit ideas for the workplace. I don't even know if that's like the right way to say that, but I'm basically giving you guys work outfit ideas. It's mostly going to be business casual outfits or like business attire outfits, but most of the time I would say it's business casual. Um, if you guys have watched my previous videos, then you probably know that I am an elementary education major, so some of these outfits will definitely be inspired by like, teacher outfits, but I think they'll still be cute for other professions, but um, yeah, so, or if you just need to dress nice for somewhere, this might be a helpful video to give you guys some ideas. I'm also going to give you guys some like tips and tricks about like um, pieces of clothing that are like perfect for for that are perfect for business attire and things like that. So I hope you enjoy this video and let's go ahead and just hop right into it and get started. Okay, so the first look I have is playing off one of the common trends right now, which is the sweater vest. And so what you can do is layer it with a like button up. And also you could wear the button up just as is and it would actually look really cute. And the cool thing is if you have black jeans and they don't look like black jeans, like if they're very like dark black, you can get away with wearing them. I would say um, that it wouldn't be that big of a deal. And I'm just wearing them with like flare, um, they're flare black jeans. So I think that this look is really cute. And like you're looking trendy and you're looking like normal, but you're also wearing like business attire. You can also like button this up if you wanted to. I kind of like the buttoned up look. And then also, if you add some accessories, you can make it even cuter by maybe like a little necklace. And then also, I would invest in like a cute bag. And there you go. But I also, what I did was I didn't button it straight down. I mean, you can do that, but I kind of like it being out like that. It's cuter. Um, and yeah, and then you can wear like loafers with it. Really anything. I'm not doing shoes either because it just takes too long. And it's also... I'm packing up to go home, so a lot of my stuff is kind of like all over the place. So it would take a long time for me to find those shoes. But anyways, this is one of the looks, and then I'll go ahead and switch into the next look, and you can see that. Alright, the next outfit is wearing the same white button down. So that is one of the essential pieces that I would say you would need for a work, a work wardrobe is a white button down. Um, I just think you can do so much with a white button down, and they're really popular right now, so like... It works perfect and what I did was I layered it under this like um, little I would say it's like early 2000s dress I actually cropped it It used to be a maxi dress but I cut it into like a little uh, midi dress and then I put a black belt around you wouldn't necessarily need the belt I think it just adds a little bit more to the look and then you could add like a black um, skirt I mean oh my goodness a black purse and then I'm wearing penny loafers and penny loafers are amazing. You can either get them in brown or black, and they will go with so much stuff for work attire, I swear. So I would say that if you are looking for a good shoe, go for a penny loafer. Just find the right one that fits your foot, and literally, you could wear it with so many cute outfits. The next thing I'm wearing is this, like, very plain midi dress. And you can't really just, like, wear a dress like this. I mean, you could if you wanted to, but it's just very plain and also, like... I don't know, I think you could dress it up more, so I'm going to show you how to do that through layering. First idea I have is add a belt. Adding a belt literally changes the game for so many different things. So this belt just has like a little flower detail on it. And then you can add some shoes and then of course a bag. And there you go. Um, I think this look is really simple, and if you can't wear, if like you can't show your shoulders or something, put on a cardigan, put on a little jean jacket. I mean, if you can't do jean jackets, then a cardigan is best, but I think this look is simple and it's good for like summer days when it's hot out. Um, but now I'm going to show you how you can do it a different way. You can take either a short sleeve button down or a long sleeve button down, and then what you do is you take it and you tie it. I'm not the best at tying, I don't know why, but it just like, it's harder than it looks. I think that's the problem. And ta-da! Then you have a second look, and I think this look is so cute, and you could wear it with sandals or something like that, even loafers if you really wanted to. And it's got a collar on it, so it makes it a little bit more professional. You can always button it up more if you'd like. Um, and of course you can add a bag like, bag like I did before, and there you go, you've got a cute little 
summer look. Alright, so the next look is the same shirt that I had on before over that dress, but this time I added it with trousers. And of course, you know, I had to bring vintage into this. These are vintage trousers, and so is this top. And I feel like this gives a very, like, 40s outfit look to it. And I think it's so cute. And it would look so cute with some brown loafers, I'm just saying. And then, of course, you could add a bag or something. And this is a very simple, almost, like, manly look. But I think it's really cute. And it's professional, because trousers make anything really professional looking. And it just steps up your, your outfit, like, a whole other level, I would say. I'm trying to show how you can use like multiple pieces of clothing to make multiple different outfits um, just so that way you guys can see how like layering and just changing things up a little bit can create a whole different style of an outfit because as you saw the one before this was like summery and a little bit more like summery fields farming girl type look but this is more like business vintage outfit so that's just like how you can literally change the look to make it look like anything. The next outfit has my favorite blazer ever in the whole world. I will never get rid of this blazer. Um, it fits me amazing. It's my favorite blazer ever. I'm just going to put that out there. Even though you guys probably already know that because I literally wear it in all of my videos. Just kidding, not all of them. But I think this blazer or any type of blazer similar to this is the perfect work attire blazer because it is kind of like has neutral tones in it so you can dress it up in different ways and then I just have a simple like turtleneck underneath but you could really wear like any color underneath you could even wear a graphic t-shirt that's what the blazer does it takes it just like to the next level so you don't really have to wear like a nice shirt underneath that's just my opinion though and then I'm just wearing some corduroy high-waisted flare pants I would say if you're gonna wear corduroy pants just make sure they're more of like a trouser style or they're flare of some sort um, just because I think you want to still make sure that the corduroy is more professional, so just be careful about that. But that's what I'm wearing with this. This would also look cute with jeans. If you have like a casual jean day, I know like teachers, they wear jeans on Fridays sometimes. You know, if you have jeans and you put a blazer on it, it dresses it up. It makes it look so cute. And here is the next look with the red blazer. Um, so what I'm wearing are these black trousers. You can't really see them, but I'll try to get a better detail for you. Um, up close but and then I'm wearing this red wool blazer which I was talking about earlier and I'm just wearing this little like striped red and black top I think this would look really cute with a white top as well or just like anything that's simple like a very simple tee type thing I wouldn't go too far and wear like a button down or anything I mean you could do that that would actually look kind of cute so basically I just contradict myself with everything I say but I think this look is so cute um I just love the black trousers. I can't really get over them. They're a little too small on me, which is very disappointing. Yeah, so I can't wear them for very long because I end up, like, stop breathing. That's an exaggeration. But, yeah, so I think this look is so cute. Alright, the next look is wearing the same black trousers, but this time I'm wearing a white turtleneck. Um, it's short sleeve, so it's not that hot. And then I'm wearing this uh, 80s Argyle, 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 I don't know, sweater. Um, as you can tell, I really like the combination of red, white, and black. I just love those color combos. But I think this look is so cute. I've said that a million times about every single look I put on. But I think just a cardigan or anything with this Argyle print can really dress up a look. And I'm wearing the same black trousers. So these are like perfect for a lot of outfit combinations. I could probably make a whole video with just these pants and show you all the outfits that I have for them. But I'm just going to show this one. I think this is so cute. And of course you can wear any form of cardigan. Anyways, let's go to the next look. And here is the next look. I call this my Nancy Drew outfit. Whenever I wear it, I just get major Nancy Drew vibes. But I love this outfit. It's all thrifted. Um, and I usually wear this with like little brown um, wingtip shoes. I think those are really cute. And then like a little brown leather bag. Um, but I just want to show you the simpleness of it, but it's also appropriate, it's for work, it's business casual, maybe even more than business casual, I don't really know the definitions. It's just a simple cashmere sweater and then a little wool plaid skirt, and I think skirts are perfect when they have this, like, fit, it's very businessy, but you can make it not businessy, like, I don't know what I'm trying to say. There are certain skirts where they're just, like, too businessy, like, you can't really go with it. But then there's other skirts like this where you can do a lot with this. Good in multiple different scenarios. So that's why I like this skirt. So this is going to be really quick, but I'm kind of going to do like a quick swipe through of all my favorite little dresses that I wear um, to work or just like to 
look nice or anything like that. Um, this is one of them, and it's got like a like a 60s shift dress vibe, but it's also got this vibrant colors on it. Um, it may be a little bit too short for some businesses, and if that's the case, you can always wear like tights or something like that. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to show you the next dress. And this is the next dress. It gives me like McGonagall vibes and then also like Pirates of the Caribbean vibes. But it's a maxi dress and maxi dresses are always cute, especially if they're flowy. Um, and I just added a belt to it to give it more dimension and just step it up a little bit. But you can always wear it without a belt. Um, but if you have a maxi dress, that's always a good addition to your closet, especially when it comes to work stuff. Um, and now I'm going to show you the next dress. And then this is another dress. It's a very simple, just like slip dress. Um, but I added a button down underneath to dress it up a little bit. And I think this would look so cute with like a black leather purse and penny loafers or something of that sort. Or little heels or something. Um, but as you can see, I kind of dressed it up a little bit. I took the level a little bit higher than it could be. Um, this could also look cute with like a white button down or a simple white t-shirt and then a blazer over that would look cute as well so as you can see this dress can be used in multiple different ways to kind of dress it up and make it a little less casual and also if you wanted to dress it up more you could put on black tights the next outfit is these like houndstooth trousers and then i just have a black um like almost like sweater on but it has like this cool collar and it's button up so i think it's a really cool look and it's simple but it's also kind of trendy and you could wear this a lot of different ways i wear it with like a white t-shirt over i think it looks really cute and then the collars popped out but of course if you want to keep it more dressy you can just keep it like this add a black blazer you could do a lot honestly with this if you wanted to dress it down you could put on a jean jacket and something like that so here are another pair of trousers that are really cute and you can do a lot with i mean you can wear a graphic tee with this it just depends on where you work and what they allow um but yeah so now i'm gonna go ahead and show you two more looks and then we're gonna wrap up the video before my battery dies all right we're moving fast here but this is the next look it's literally just a jumper got it at the thrift store it's super nice it's high quality and this would look so cute at work um, I'm wearing it with like a neck scarf to dress it up a little bit and then I have a belt on but you don't need to add any of those things if you don't want to but I would say a really nice jumper is cute and I know that you can find them at the thrift store they're sometimes hard to find but when you do it's awesome um, and then I'm actually going to end the video here because my battery's going to die but I hope you guys enjoyed this video and got some cool work idea video I mean work attire outfit ideas I hope you guys got a lot of outfit ideas from this video for the workplace. There we go! Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and comment if you want. Thanks for watching. Bye!